Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to who's here today. Well, I've got Megan and I've got Sean. But don't just sit there, fruit tubes. Come on, on your feet. We're going to play a game of charades. I know a policeman. Yes. A train driver <gasps> with a big, big steering wheel. A bus driver. That was brilliant. Well, I've got Megan and I've got Sean, but someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Rudy <laughs> with Jack. Hello there, Rudy. Hi, Hi Granny Murray. there and Jack. Well done. <laughs> there you go, Jack. We're miming different jobs that you might see people doing in the city. Oh, wow, it sounds great. <laughs> but now Jack's here, we'll do something new. Why don't you all dress Claude up as a window cleaner? And we can squidge your way over to the tubes. All <laughs> oh, right, you are, Granny Murray. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, you're a fan of the city then, Granny Murray? Oh, yes. There's always something going on in a city, day or night. There's all the underground trains rattling below your feet. <laughs> and the big tall buildings that soar straight into the sky. Claude would get a wee bit dizzy trying to clean some of those windows. Oh! And the city traffic. The people. The shops. The noise. Oh, I love it all. <laughs> oh, you just never know what's going to happen next in the city. You've got to remain on your toes at all times, ready to deal with the unexpected. Well, once when I worked in Nicholson's department store, I turned out for work one morning and they were repairing the road right outside my display window. So, I had the idea to dress the dummies in the shop window up as workmen. <laughs> so there were workmen in the shop window and outside. <laughs> wow, what a clever idea. Well, when the unexpected happens, do the unexpected. That's what I think. <laughs> oh, will you look at Claude? He's ready to go cleaning some windows. Oh, and I'd best be off to work too. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, Claude, <laughs> you look every inch the window cleaner. Oh, has he got his squeegee? Oh, he certainly has. <laughs> The window cleaner. For me, my very own squeegee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there's no windows on my market stall, but you never know when the unexpected might happen, eh? <laughs> very true, Rudy. Right, you give me a cuddle. Go on. Oh. Ah, behave yourself. See you later, kids. Come on, Rudy. <laughs> now remember, when the unexpected happens, do the unexpected. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, darling. I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today. I'm walking my shoes through the city views. I'm stepping along and I'm swinging me arms and I'm singing my way through the city's charms. I get in there, it's just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time. I always go the way I know, but can you tell me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? And do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? And which way is right? Right! OK, that way, to the market. I'm on my way to work today. I'm going this way and that away. Hello, cobbles. Hello, train. Hello, roadworks. Hello, tram. Hello, sweeper. Hello, bag. Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? And which way's a frown? Ah! What, this way? You told me the way to go. Thank you, you showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. Now what? Ah, yeah, I need to put on my work clothes. <laughs> All 
Well dressed and ready to go. <laughs> Morning, Rudy. How are your bananas today? <laughs> All the better for seeing you, Mickey John. How many would you like? Well, uh, I think one will keep my energy levels up for the day, thanks. Oh, OK, then. There you go. And it's on the house. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. So. You're looking after Rebecca today. <laughs> I'd imagine you'd need all your energy for that. No, I'm teaching. Actually, I'm taking some of my class on a field trip. <gasps> wow! Where to? The city centre. I thought it'd be fun for them to experience the sights of a busy city day. There's certainly lots to do and see in the city. Oh, I'd imagine there is. And speaking of imagination, just think of all the things in the city you can't see. Like, under our feet. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Well, think about it. Under our feet? Under the pavement are miles and miles of pipe and wire, bringing gas and electricity and clean water to our homes and offices. And every time you flush the toilet, it goes whoosh, right under our feet. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, I wish I was coming on your city trip, Mickey John. It sounds loads of fun. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll pop by with my class and we'll say hi. Oh, right. And I'd better make sure my windows are clean if I'm going to have visitors. <laughs> <laughs> right, bye. <laughs> Rudy, huh? you missed the spot. Ah, you cheeky monkey. <laughs> oh, I wonder how Jack is. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, these bin lorries certainly are noisy, aren't they? Oh, they're like a big robot, isn't it? It is, Jack. Look at the big claw. See all the rubbish getting poured in? Oh, it's a bit stinky too. Ah. Oh, what a noise. What are you doing in the market, Daddy? <laughs> I was on my way to work and I drilled like this. <laughs> drilled like this. Drilled like this. I was on my way to work and I drilled like this. All day long. I was on my way to work and I drove like this. Drove like this. Drove like this. I was on my way to work and I drove like this. All day long. I was on my way to work and I tickled like this. Tickled like this. Tickled like this. I was on my way to work and I tickled like this. All day long. Oh, you're a great sport, Rudy. Yeah, I'd have to be with two clowns like you about. Oh, Rudy, see you later. <laughs> Bye! Bye! Oh, right, back to work. And dooby dooby doo, I make it look easy. What I dooby dooby doo, and what I do is sell to you and you and you all of the veggies for a stew. But it's more than meets the eye. What I do for you as I by and by While you still sleep those fruit and veg to eat And the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes It's there for you The market stalls are there to view the market, the market, what a wonderful place. The hub of the people, the smiles on each face. The market, the market, come look around. The hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound. The colours all chaotic and spilling about. The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out. Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and the selling Cheap or dear The market, the market I just love to be there The market is a wonderful place Hello, Rudy. I told you I'd be back with the children. Oh, <laughs> so you did, Mickey John. Hello, kids. Um, help yourselves to an apple on the house. Here, Rudy. What do you reckon this is? Oh, um... Oh, oh, um, don't tell me. It's um, an elephant's pea shooter. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's something much more useful than that. It's called a listening probe. It helps people to listen for water under the ground. Oh. Try it. <laughs> Other way, Rudy. Silly me. Uh, uh. Oh, wow. Hey, Mickey John, 
You can hear water under the ground. Ooh. You have a go. Right. Hey. Whoa. I can hear it too. There must be a big water main running right under your market stall. Ooh. Oh dear. A puddle. I think your pipe must have sprung a leak. Is that bad? Well, it's not good. Not to worry. I'll go back to the school bus, get my mobile phone, and phone the water board from there. I'm sure they'll send someone out to repair the leak right away. Oh, brilliant. How exciting. There's a leak living under my stall. <laughs> hey, perhaps Jack Squeegee will come in handy after all. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle, that's for me. Oh, will you look at that? <laughs> Whoever would have thought washing windows could be so exciting? Hello there! <laughs> Watch you don't drop your clothes! <laughs> Give them a wave, boys. Do you see them? Look! Hello! Oh my goodness, that looks dangerous, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow! Daddy? Good news, Rudy! The water board are on their way. And first, they want us to try and find the spot where we think the water's coming from. Oh, all right. Oh, any sign? Yeah, that sounds like the spot. Oh, oh you certainly hit the spot, all right, Mickey John. I, I mean, uh, we have to be getting along. Uh, the children's parents will be waiting. Sorry, Rudy, we've got to go back to but, school. But, but, Mickey John, what about my stool? My leaks are getting leaked on. Sorry, Rudy, bye-bye. Ah! Oh, great. I've been working hard all day and suddenly, whoosh, a burst water main drenches everything. Oh, it hasn't been five minutes since Mickey John turned up with his elephant's pea shooter and now look. Oh. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I took Jack to Granny Murray's house. The children were playing charades. Jack set to work, helping them dress Claude up as a window cleaner. At eight o'clock, Mickey John arrived and told me all about his class field trip he was taking to the city. At nine o'clock, Louie and Chuck unexpectedly appeared and clowned around, as they often do when I want to get down to some work. At one o'clock, Mickey John and the children arrived. They brought a long funnel with them which helps you listen for water trickling through the water pipes below the ground. Mickey John found more than a trickle. He found a burst water made under my stall. What am I going to do? Now remember, when the unexpected happens, do the unexpected. When the unexpected happens, do the unexpected. Of course, I've got to do the unexpected and move my market stall away from the market before it gets washed away. Tina and her taxi can help. They have to. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will we know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Come on, folks, roll up, roll up. Everyone as fresh as the last. Get your lovely fruit and vegetables here. Roll up, roll up. Get your taxi home here. <laughs> and while you're about it, buy a lovely apple. It'll help to make the journey crisp. <laughs> Looks like your day wasn't a total washout after all, Rudy. <laughs> you can say that again, Tina. Hurry back. <laughs> oh, I hope you're having an exciting time like me, Jack. You're working hard today. What have you found in your hole, Mr Workman? I found... A teddy bear. A teddy, just what I was looking for. <laughs> and a, a long claw. Brilliant. And a bucket. Oh, you are fantastic, Mr Digger. <laughs> well, I think you better fill in your hole because your dad will be coming to pick you up soon. I want to be with you, Daddy. Someone to see you, Jack. Hello, Hey, give us a 
a cuddle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you've had a great time with Granny Murray. Yep, we certainly did. Go on, say thanks to Granny Murray. Thank you, Granny Murray. Oh, it's a pleasure, my angel. <laughs> Oh, and thank you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. When the unexpected happens, do the unexpected. And it saved the day. <laughs> Thanks, Rudy. Right, come on, you two. You'd better be off. <laughs> come on, mate. There you go. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Bye. Come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a window cleaner from the city because we were going to see the different jobs that people do around the city. We walked around and watched the busy refuse collectors emptying the bins. We saw window cleaners too. Oh, they were so brave, perched high outside the windows of a huge office block. Jack and I were glad to keep our feet on solid ground, oh, or rather under it in Jack's case, when he was digging for teddy bears in my garden. Mickey John dug up some trouble for poor Rudy when he unexpectedly burst a water main under his stall. Oh. Still, Rudy had a surprise up his sleeve to deal with the problem. And nobody expected him to do that. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. I love you.